Let us consider climb force on an edge dislocation due to tensile stresses. In this case, the tensile stress should be in the direction of Burgess vector. So let us consider in this configuration showing this red line as the dislocation line. The edge, bottom edge of the extra half plane which is there. And suppose that I apply tensile forces on this crystal in this direction, which is also the direction of the Burgess vector of this dislocation. Then this dislocation will be subjected to a downward force which will tend which will make the dislocation climb down and as the dislocation climbs down you can see that an extra plane is getting added to the crystal because of this addition of an extra plane, there will be an expansion in this direction of by magnitude equal to the Burgess vector because one additional plane is added. So the tensile force, the tensile force creates this expansion by B by the climb down of the dislocation. The tensile stress sigma climb down. edge dislocation. So since this force FL which is acting on on the dislocation line this force FL by unit length is acting downwards so we can calculate the work done during the dislocation motion. So work done on dislocation is force per unit length on the dislocation times the length of the dislocation line which I call L. This is the length of the dislocation times the displacement how much the dislocation moves down. So if the dislocation moves down a height edge then the work done on the dislocation line by this force is FL LH. Now we will equate this work done to calculate FL we will equate this work done to the work done by the external stress. So the external stress in this case is the tensile stress. So work done on the crystal Due to the tensile stresses, tensile stress force per unit area times the area. So now this tensile stress will be acting this length as we have shown there also is L. So is acting over an area LH. So this is the total force and the displacement of the crystal due to this force is by this amount by respect to B. The tensile stress displaces the crystal by B. So we have sigma LHB. So to calculate FL, we equate these two. So W dislocation is equal to W crystal. Which 
leads to FL LH sigma LH B first by unit length sigma B so this is the climb force on the dislocation due to the tensile force tensile stress acting on the crystal 